In this video, we're going to be looking at position first time graphs. On position first time graphs, on the y axis, we have position. And it could be in meters or centimeters. On the x axis, we have time. Okay, and now I'm going to draw uh, the motion of two objects. We'll call one object A and we'll call this object B. Okay. On A position versus time graph, the steepness represents the speed of the object. So the steeper it is, the faster it's moving. So you could tell that object A is going faster because this line is steeper than B. Um, so object A is going faster. The speed, when we talk about speed, we're talking about how fast an object is moving. And this is a scalar. Uh, it only has a number. An example of that would be like one meter per second. Okay, so A, for example, might have a slope or a steepness or a slope of one meter per second, and B uh, might have half of that. So B might be 0.5 meter per second, and B is not as steep as as A. Uh, we can also think about slope. And I want to kind of differentiate steepness with slope here. So steepness, it could be steep uh, this way. It could also be steep this way. Uh, but it doesn't make it positive or negative. When, you, when we want to differentiate between this slope and this slope, then we're going to be uh, uh, talking about positive or a negative slope. So you can have a positive or negative slope. So when we're talking about slope, uh, we're going to be, uh, it, this is going to represent velocity. So I like to just uh, differentiate that steepness is representing speed. It could be this steep and it could be this steep. Okay. Uh, but slope, this would be a positive slope. This would be a negative slope. Okay. And velocity is speed and direction. Now, if you want to get more technical, we can talk about the uh, rate at which the position changes. We'll talk about that later, but for right now, we're just going to start with speed and direction. And it is a vector, a vector. Uh, this means that it has a uh, magnitude and direction. So for example, one meter per second south, okay? Or uh, we could say uh, we can use positive or negative to indicate direction. So I can have positive one meter per second. And let's say north is positive, uh, then south would be negative. So negative one meter per second, this would represent south. Now, uh, I want to take a look at another position versus time graph. And this time, I'm going to use uh, some symbols to represent a position time. So oftentimes, it's just a sketch. So I'm just going to use T and X. So sometimes you'll see this X because uh, we're starting off with objects moving on the X axis. And you might have a graph that looks like this. So here's C and here's D. And I want you to think a little bit about how these are different, okay? So how these are different is that they're moving a different direction. Remember, this is the origin right here. That's the origin right here. Uh, so one object is moving uh, away from the origin, which is C, and D is moving towards the origin. And I know that it looks diagonal, but they're not moving diagonal. They're just on the x-axis. So let's say uh, this is the origin right here. So let's say this is the origin right here. And uh, so one object is moving to the right. Okay, we'll say this is the positive direction. One object moving to the right. The object is moving, one object is moving to the left. Not only that, um, we can see that they start at different places. One started at the origin and one started away from the origin. Okay, so the y-intercept right here uh, tells us the starting position of the object. Now to calculate speed, um, we have this triangle here that we can use. And you don't have to use it, but some people find it helpful. And it just reminds us that speed is equal to distance divided by time. Or if you're looking for distance, cover up the D with your finger and distance equals speed times time. Or if you're looking for time, cover up the T and we see that T time is equal to distance divided by the speed. 
so how about for velocity? So velocity equation is a little bit different. Velocity is equal to the displacement. Here's the symbol. It's a delta x. It's like a triangle, triangle x. This is this right here uh, is the symbol for displacement. And displacement is the change in position. The change in position divided by the time. Okay, so it's the rate at which rate at which your position changes. So let's take a look at an example um, to better understand the difference here between speed and velocity. Let's say you went to the right three meters. You went up three meters. You went left three meters. You came back down here three meters. So maybe, for example, you went east, north, west, south. Okay, and it took you six seconds. Okay, so what is your speed? So your speed is going to be the uh, total ground covered um, that you traveled. So it's 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is 12 meters, divided by the time, 6 seconds. So that would be 2 meters per second. That is your speed. Okay, But your velocity, and this is uh, going to be a little bit different, is going to be uh, first your displacement. And since this, it's the displacement is a change in position, since you're back to where you started, your displacement is 0. And time is 6, 0 divided by anything is still going to be 0. So your velocity is going to be 0.